Same thing here. Look at the post. You've got two safeties. Okay, we're, we're really, this is the first guy that we're gonna see, obviously. Um, as soon as he eliminates himself, then the expectation is if one leaves, then do we have a replacer? And that, that's what we need to know. If one leaves, if the near safety leaves, do we have a replacer? That gives us an opportunity to quickly ID if we're going to have a two bracket scenario, which we do here. So the boundary safety is pushing to the middle of the field off a of one high spin. Sam sees it. We're gonna to go to the, the weave and climb or the high low in the progression. And this is a much better angle. We got away with a slightly flatter angle on the last rep that I showed you because there wasn't another defender out here. You know, and th this defender here is a, you know, more of a factor if we run this thing flat. And so this is really the angle that we're talking about. And that's the angle that we want. So we can throw him away from the underneath coverage. And we're in good shape there. So that's, here's the end zone shot. I have the near safety is disappearing, right? So we've got him coming down. We're, we're expecting and looking for a replacer. If we don't get one, this ball is gone. We got one-on-one -on -one post and we'll take it every time. If he doesn't, then I'm going to take him out. We're going to roll the next quarterback on the field because this is open and there's never a reason to bypass a receiver when he's open, particularly if he's early in the progression because now we can get the ball out of the quarterback's hand earlier in the play. We have a quicker ride and a more immediate drop by Sam because I think he's anticipating the nickel spin, you know, the one high spin. So we're off the post. I think we're a little premature in the fake and in the drop. You don't wanna be at the top of the drop and waiting. 